everyone. I'm back again for another round of Monday Motivation. For those who doesn't know, I'm Jill and I do this Monday Motivation every Monday. Just so we have some positivity and to keep us going throughout the week. For this week, we will be talking about a quote from one of a Stoic philosopher again named Epictetus. Who was Epictetus? He was one of the famous teachers or practitioners of Stoicism. For the past few weeks, I've mentioned about uh, Seneca, who was one of the richest playwright during his time, and another one is Marcus Aurelius, who was uh, one of the five good emperors. Now, if you remember them, you would also remember that they held high positions in, during their time. And for Epictetus, it's not the same, because he was a slave his owner allowed him to pursue liberal studies and this is how he discovered about the philosophy for this week quotation it's more on how to deal when people say something behind our back when i first heard this quote i find it funny because it has humor to it and the level of self-acceptance that we have our fault is Amazing. Most of us, the first thing we do is defend ourselves or we explain it to the person who heard the story about us. With this pandemic going on, it's very important for us to keep our sanity and peace of mind in place. And if we continue to entertain negative thoughts or opinion of others towards us, we don't want to add emotional stress or mental burden on how to defend ourselves from opinions of others which i honestly find unnecessary especially if you can see us sa, sa mga tao nga wala kayo kailanimo with that being said this is our quote of the week if anyone tells you that a certain person speaks ill of you do not make excuses about what is said of you but answer he was ignorant of my other faults else he would not have mentioned this alone. For Epictetus, it was accepting the fact that people talk about him behind his back and not caring about it and just being open that we all have our fault. We all know that there are things that we can control and we cannot control. What we cannot control is how people perceive our action, what they think of us, how we deal with others. Okay, maski pa if you have the purest intention, if ilahang tanaw na or they have past experience where they went through or witnessed the same thing and then lahi di ay ang ending, so they would tend to associate their past experience into the judgment of you doing the same thing at what other people did. Example is if you post something good in social media for being grateful or kanang you want to celebrate your success or small wins, your intention there is to throw to universe that you are grateful of the blessings that you've received. But then, people on the other side of the screen would think nga, ay, nang hambog na siya. Ah, nindutag life. Papakuan. So it's okay to share what you feel like sharing and let people see it as it is. It's up to you to decide or it's up to you if you want to care. <laughs> On the other hand is there are things that we can control. One of it is how we respond to things and from this quote, I would admire how he react because once you react in this manner, the other person who said ill about you or something bad about you would either stop talking about you or I mean, how would you react if ingon ani on ka I I don't know. <laughs> if you are also aware that what the person said about you is true, then since you are aware and you find the need to improve yourself, if kahibaw ka nga, you have to improve your character. It takes a while, and knowing that you are on the process, uh, you are work in progress. You would be, you would not feel 
attack. Kahibang mga nga, you're trying. And those people who doesn't know or doesn't understand nga, mustorya lang o kalit on what you're doing or what you are like because they don't know about you. They don't know how you are trying to be better. And if they don't know, why would you care? I know it doesn't apply to all, but if the person who said ill about you is important sa imuha, or you can talk to them directly, explain what happened. Pero kung important jud sila, and that I don't know why they would do that to you in the first place. Another quote from Epictetus is, "It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters." People can say bad things sa imuha, but if you react to it in a positive way or handle it properly, then they learn na siya magka-affect sa imuha. On the other hand, if people say positive things sa imuha and then you would take it negatively or ambot lang sa problema ni mo and then you take it the wrong way, the problem there is on how you react. So it's very important to be self-aware on how to keep yourself together if people talk bad about you and know your place and know how you are trying to become a better person. Whatever you're going through, people will always have something to say, good or bad. It's up to you on how to deal with it. With that being said, I hope you have a great week ahead of you and if you find this helpful, you know, enjoy your week. Be productive and I'll see you on the next one. Epic, epic, tetus, epic tetus.